Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a PR sample. I have been contacted by Madame Glam to review some of their gel magnetic polishes and I am so thrilled to bring that to you today. If you're new and you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. And don't forget to click on that like if you like live swatches and product reviews. So let's get started. Okay, I have this box here. This is what it came in. And you can see the nice foam padding on the inside. They did present a card to let you know the instructions on how to do the soak off gel. This is a, it is a wipeable gel, so it's not a no wipe gel. So you will need to wipe this off. And this is letting you know that this is a vegan free, 21 free formula that they do not test on animals and it's produced with respect for the environment. I did go ahead and choose three polishes. They gave me a, 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 a soak off base coat and a soak off top coat. This is the first polish. I love magnetic polishes, so I chose magnetics. This one is Cosmos. I did choose different types of finishes. This one is more of just a regular magnetic polish with no glitters. This is the next one. This is a Peacock gel polish. Beautiful color. And it's called Moon Tears. As you can see with this one, and I'll show you better in the review, has more chunks to it. It has more flakies. And you will get a closer look in a moment. And the next soak off is this Star Cat Eye Gel. And it's Galactic Mist. This is very pretty. As you can see, you can, you can kind of see the dimension of the colors. And it's going to be more of a multicolor polish. And here is the soak off base coat and the soak off top coat. When she initially sent the polish for PR, she did state she would send me a, a lamp, a UV lamp uh, with some cuticle oil, but I didn't get it. So she did go ahead and ship it to me right away. And I did get the UV lamp, LED lamp. The button is setting is for 45 to 60 seconds. And um, she stated because she missed my shipment, uh, she did give me another polish which is another soak off gel polish. So I'm trying to zoom in here so you can take a better look. And this one is Tomboy. This one is not a magnetic polish. And as you can see, the brush is clumpy. So I'm going to just go ahead and just clean it off later. Um, with not in the this particular video, but I will go ahead and clean that off. I did want to say it did give they did give me great customer service. Like I said, when I told her that I didn't receive the UV lamp, she shipped it right away with no problems. And here is the uh, complimentary cuticle oil that she did send. It's called Prairie, and here it is. It's a nice size bottle. It didn't have a, a normal smell as far as cuticle oils. It um, had a different kind of smell to it. Not a sweet smell or anything, just a different type of smell that I'm not accustomed to, but it's not a bad smell. And on the side of the box, it does give you a view on the outside what it looks like as far as the size. And it tells you that you can use it every night. It does help improve health and appearance of your nails. Deep nourishing, smoothing, and effect and glossy finish. Has a hobo oil, vitamin E, vitamin B, and lavender oil. So I'm going to go ahead and open the box so you can see what the actual lamp looks like. I was so glad to get this lamp because if you saw my other lamp, it is so bulky and big to where this one is so compact and easy to, to move around. It's more mobile than the other one. So I really like this one. 
and I am going to enjoy this because it's so compact. I love it. Now, the little stand here, it is very uh, stiff to open, as you can see. So, But I did eventually get it open without breaking a nail. <laughs> and it does come with a uh, UB cord. So you can plug it into your outlet or you can plug it to your computer. And I'm just showing you that here. Trying to get it in <laughs> the right way. There we go. I think. Yeah. So. And we're going to test this out with the polishes. So in the box, it does come with instructions. Um, it's, like I said, it tells you that it does have a 45 to 60, se 60 second button to... Um, cure your polishes or your applications between polishes and it just gives you cautions your warranty and customer service information on this pamphlet okay so i'm starting off some, with some nail tips and i'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and apply the base coat to each nail tip And with me watching other videos, it is best to apply the gel polishes in each layer as evenly as possible and also to apply it with a thin application as possible. Because if you do it too thick, it will take too long to cure and you don't want to take up too much time trying to cure between polishes just to do your nails. So that's done and we're gonna cure it for 30 from 45 to 60 seconds and with this polish I noticed even though with I'm doing a thin application that it was best to do it um, for 45 for 60 seconds so I'm starting off with the cat eye peacock polish which is moon tears so we're going to see how gorgeously beautiful these polishes are. And I'm doing it as thin as possible, but noticing with the application, like I said, this polish is very chunky and textured. So you can really see those flakies. They're really chunky and thick. They're not flat. Um, so you, this is going to be a very textured polish. I've already cured it for 60 seconds, so this is the second application. I didn't do the magnet on the first application because it's so thin and you probably wouldn't see it against this white tip. So I decided to wait until I did the second application and you can see it magnetizing here. And this is real time, y'all. So you can see it a bit here. So I'm gonna cure it again for 60 seconds. So I decided to do a third application and this time just a little bit thicker and you can see those chunks a little bit better now and I'm going ahead to apply that magnet now I can see it really magnetizing now so I know when I do this next time I will put a black base but I just wanted to see how it would look on just a regular white tip because a lot of times I don't use a black base on magnetic polishes but I may just do that on this gel polish and so I like the way you could just magnetize it and do different things with it before it actually dries I really like that part of the gel polish that's the fun part <laughs> so this is after curing it for another 60 seconds and like I said, it is very tacky and textured. So the next one is the Cat Eye Gel. And this one is Cosmos. And don't forget that I do have that discount code um, for 30% off, which is simply Kiwi30 underscore one. And I will put everything below in the description box. 
This is the second application of this polish. Like I said, each time I did cure it for 60 seconds. This one was a little bit more um, not textured. It was more of a smoother coat or application than the first one. And I realized with this one, I, I really had to do just the cat eye because I tried to use the round. It didn't do very well. So this one you really have to do with the cat eye. You can see now it's not it's not doing much of anything with the round applicated on the round end of the magnet. Can't get my words out. It's not doing much of anything. So I decided to go ahead and apply a little bit more polish to it. And I'm going to do it just as a cat eye. And that's what it says on the bottle. So, and that's what it means <laughs> just for the cat eye. I'm just trying to play around to see what will work. And so I just placed it over it and voila. So it's just for the cat eye. And I cured that for 60 seconds. And I am going on to the third polish. And this is the Star Cat Eye Gel. I like that magenta purple color with the gold shimmer in it. This one went on very smooth. Kind of feels like the previous polish a bit. This one is not, it's not textured at all either. And I cured each application 60 seconds. And this is another application because I wanted on the second coat to be able to use the magnet so you could see um, the particles pulling up to the surface of the polish. And I decided to use the round end of the magnet this time on this polish. And I really love the effect of it as you can see here. Very pretty. So I did uh, apply that in the lamp for 60 seconds. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply the Soak Off Top Coat. And like I said, this one is still very textured. And with this top coat, it's going to smooth everything out. And then I also cured this for 60 seconds. I thought it was going to do a little bit more with the magnet after the coat, but it didn't. So I just went ahead and put it in the lamp. And then I went ahead and applied the top coat to the next one. And I, like I said, for each one, I did apply the, it under the lamp for 60 seconds. Here I'm using, it's supposed to be a lint-free. This is just the lint-free side of it. And I'm spraying it with alcohol. So we can take that textured or that tacky layer off the top of the polish. And I have to admit, I was so leery about gel polishes, but this was such an easy and simple process. So here is the finished polishes and the they, I love the polishes. And let me know which one you would like to see me do uh, as far as my gel, Manny. The last one is that complimentary polish. Now that one's also a very textured and glittery polish. But let me know which one you would like to see me do a gel polish manicure on video because I have not done that yet and what you would like for me to do. So let me know. Remember that when you go, I'm going to put everything in the description box. There's going to be a bit, bitty link, and that will take you directly to the site. And at this checkout, choose pay as you go option if you don't become a VIP member. And remember, there's a 30% discount code on your entire purchase. 
and that is simply kiwi30 underscore one. Again, let me know which one you would like to see me do as a manicure. You guys, thank you so much for watching. You be blessed, and I will see you in the next video. Remember to allow the mani to take hold and watch the magic appear. And I'll see you next time. Bye.